Hi guys, it's Neka and I am back with part 2 of Ross's long list of ex-lovers who will tell you he's insane. <laughs> but he's got a blank space, baby, and he'll write your name. <laughs> oh god. Do I keep this in? Yeah, yeah, I will I will keep this in. Because really blank space is one of the songs I associate with him. Every time I listen to that song now, I just see him. So today we are giving a makeover to Noah and Yumiko. Yumiko? Yumiko? Just before I started recording, I was trying to say both their names to make sure I pronounced them right and I stumbled on Yumiko again. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry too if any Japanese person is watching this because I honestly tried and then just... I failed. Um, and you would think that Japanese names are easy to pronounce and yeah, I was I was wrong. I can I gave myself everything apparently. Anyway, Noah and Yumiko. They are two of Ross's ex-lovers who really only pretty much appeared once in the legacy. I mean, maybe he met them a few more times later, but the only time they played a role in the legacy was really when he took them on a date and kissed them and asked them to be a boyfriend or a girlfriend and yeah, then he never cared about them again. Noah, I think with Noah he was in San Maishuno, in one of the karaoke bars, and they were singing together, and then he kissed Noah, and bye bye, see you never. Actually, I imagine they were they were like classmates or they knew each other from school, and I think I made it. Noah had a crush on him, so he was very excited when Ross invited him out, and then he just and it like all the other people. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for all of Rose's ex-lovers because they did not deserve that. As much as I love Rose, they did not deserve it. I mean, I don't love, I don't love high school Rose because high school Rose, as we've already said, was a little piece of dog shit. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no way around it. And anyway, and then Yumiko. Wait, I think in the game he actually started dating both of them at the same day. Uh, Yumiko, he also met her in San Maishuno. Yeah, it's coming back to me. It was the weekend, so he was like, okay, I'm gonna make a trip to San Maishuno. He grew up in Oasis Springs and he took a trip to San Maishuno at the weekend and he went to the park and that's where he found Yumiko and she uh yeah he 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 made her fall in love with him and and that was it he yeah he promised her they would uh run away from home they would drive off into the sunset and they would live an exciting life and then that didn't happen i don't know what life Yumiko had Ross's life was uh, Ross's life is pretty exciting but they don't have that life together he he lied to her <laughs> it was a pretty shitty lie but but it worked yeah so back to the makeover us noah was pretty good looking and i feel like i made him even better looking with that facial hair and skin details and and, and the outfits his outfits improved so much oh my god i mm, i will honestly give myself a pat on the back because i did a good job on this one he looks so good and as for yumiko okay when you see her face, you might be thinking, what the hell was Nika thinking in 2018 with that makeup? And let me tell you, the makeup was on purpose. I gave her bad makeup on purpose. Because she was this cool, edgy girl and she just, she had this heavy eyeshadow, heavy eyeliner. It was all on purpose because you know how teenagers are in high school. They don't always have makeup figured out. Um, I shouldn't really speak on that topic because I didn't really wear makeup for three years and then for all of my final year of high school I actually I did and I don't think I did a bad job on it. I feel like uneven eyeliner is kind of my brand when I decide to wear eyeliner and I feel like I did a pretty good job on the foundation but I had a red lipstick face and I'm not sure if red lipstick is really my thing i'm not sure if it looks good on me i feel i feel weird every time i wear it but i didn't feel weird at the end of high school but i nowadays i definitely don't think it was the right move anyway 
oh my stomach um i'm hungry i've been recording for like um three hours now two hours and i'm getting hungry oh i'm gonna get a snack after i finish this one anyway um important thing i originally created all these sims or i gave them a makeover when when they were teenagers and now that i'm giving them a makeover they are already young adults so i kind of went with okay i'm gonna actually give them a young adult makeover so that's why both connor and and noah why they have facial hair or more facial hair why the girls or, mm, i'm not sure about anya anya still looks very young or very like she's she's not a teenager but she's not quite an adult just yet but yumiko she looks quite more mature in her style she has figured out makeup she still has her signature heavy black eyeshadow but it looks better it, it looks intentional i guess it looks intentionally heavy or something like that and i gave her some piercings i i changed her hair color because her blue hair color was reminding me too much of another sim that i have and it was kind of i don't know it was a bit weird because i kept seeing my other sim sharon and it yeah i, I figured maybe yumiko should get another hair color basically not much else to say about that but i think she looks so cool honestly if i was in Ross's place obviously he belongs with caleb like there's there's no other right way about about it about his relationships but if i was him i would not treat yumiko like that because that's good i mean nobody deserves that treatment from him but yumiko oh she's i love her <laughs> um, i may be having gay thoughts at the moment as we speak <laughs> I think, yeah, I think out of all the four sims that I have given a makeover to so far, I think she is my favorite. And my second favorite would, I don't know, one of the boys would be my second favorite. I don't know which one I like more. Maybe, maybe Noah, maybe Noah, I, I don't know. Let me know who is your favorite so far in the comments, I guess. And yeah, I think I'll stop rambling here. I'll leave my other Ross shaming ideas for the next two or three parts and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment if you have anything nice to say or if you want to contribute to the high school rose i want to say kink shaming not kink shaming not yet i mean no no kink shaming here <laughs> oh my god this is a mess well i hope you enjoyed this video and um i love you guys <laughs> And I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. I, and I'm gonna go get a snack. Bye, everyone.